How's it going, everybody? I know we're a little earlier than usual, but let me shift my schedule a little bit. So uh, we're gonna be uh, gonna be doing this six o'clock thing uh, more often. I think. I think. Um, it, it's it's just gonna start making more sense. I'm gonna start shifting some things around, um, just really more for work-life balance than anything. And uh, hopefully, y'all can still make it for most of the streams. Um, so tonight we're uh, we're doing some GTA roleplay. I uh, I got whitelisted on a server, and uh, I, I've been enjoying it for the last couple of days, and uh, really getting into it. Hey, Kush, how you doing? I'm really getting into it and uh, really enjoying it. So um, yeah, if if you're curious, it's uh, USA RRP. You can just Google that, or it's USA RRP .gg. And you can sign up and whitelist yourself over there. Um, you can still log into the server if you're not whitelisted. It just means you won't get priority login if they fill up. Um, they average between like 50 to 100 players throughout the day. Right now, there's about 55 people online. I think last time I looked, 48. It's 48 people online right now. So there's lots of room if you want to come play. Um, obviously, there's some really important things about this server that I need to point out if you are going to come join because uh, because you were asking. Um, it's, it's an RP server and it's strict RP, so no metagaming, no power gaming. It's, it's, you play the character, right? Um, so that's going to be the only major limitation. So, I mean, if you join the server and expect to, you know, interact with me, that's fine. But you, you have to, you know, meet my character, right? That's how it works. So I'm pretty stoked. Um, so there's a couple of things that I set up. Um, number one, I'm playing with mouse, keyboard, and controller. So I'm switching back and forth between to do things. I'm still learning the UI. You know all the rules? Okay, I apologize. I didn't know how deep we were into it. Um, I'm, I'm glad you know what's going on. Uh, some people don't understand metagaming and power gaming though, right? So I, I, I explained it for everyone watching, not necessarily just you, but I, uh, I'm glad that you know what's going on. Um, so I've, I've run around the server a little bit and uh, yeah, I'm using controller and keyboard and mouse interchangeably, um, but I still might misclick things or make some mistakes. I'm still a little bit newer to the UI myself. So I'm looking forward to digging more into it and getting used to it. Um, there's a couple of things that I have set up for myself to make the experience easier uh, and easier for you. Number one, I will be using a scene uh, that doesn't have uh, any overlay or webcam. It'll be just the game. And then I'll be talking over the game, obviously. Um, much like most of the RP streamers do, some of them have webcams, but I'm going to try without. And if we find there's a disconnect, then I can turn the webcam back on. I have the same scene saved with webcam and without. Um, but we'll try with that. I, I want to I try and like immerse you all in the experience. Um, secondly, I do have a couple of uh, voice filters set up or well, one that I'll be using anyway. So whenever I have this turned on, it's internal monologue, um, which makes sense. You know, a little echoey in your head, right? Um, if it doesn't make any sense, drop it in chat and uh, we'll sort it out afterwards. But yeah, um, other than that, um, hi, Els. I'm glad you woke up from your nap. I missed you. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to be digging in. So I, uh, I've i been playing for the last couple of days. I wanted to get used to the UI and get used to the city again. So I haven't played GTA 5 since like launch on PC. So it's been a while. No, don't worry about it. You're good. Um, yeah, so we're we're about to, to meet Alex here. Um, let's see if I can get him to land in the right spot because sometimes when you hit last location it's not your last location it's the last time the server pinged you so i want to make sure he's where he's supposed to be which is right next to his car that he just bought which i hope is still here it's not so it's probably in the garage um how many head pops actually i've had zero head pops luckily enough Although I, I experienced one with somebody earlier. I was uh, running around the arcade with somebody and uh, <laughs> he, he disappeared randomly and I, I couldn't find him again. But I did make a friend. I made a friend. So we're going to get Alex into uh, signed into work here because Alex is a taxi driver. And hopefully he gets the taxi. Yeah. Is this the not bright as fuck one? This is the bright as fuck one. Whatever, we'll deal with it. I'll have to find a way to filter that out later, but still working on it. Anyway, um, 
we're gonna dig into it in a minute here. Make sure all my controls are working. They aren't. I might have to reconnect my controller to get it to sync with the game. So I started the controller before I started the game. Make sure that connects. Okay, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just basically be driving around doing some some work, making some money. Um, because I wanna customize my car. Hey Jake, how you doing, buddy? I've been trying to customize the car that I just bought. Um but mostly it's just going to be trying to find people to interact with. I, like I said, I did manage to make a friend earlier just driving around. Um, doing good. I'm glad to hear that. And uh, yeah, we're going to dig into it. So most of my uh, vocalizations will be in character, I think. I don't know. We're, we're going to sort it out. Taking your final for philosophy. Oh, god damn. That'll be fun. Right? Fun? Remember, remember fun, kids? <laughs> All right, let's see if my scene works. It does. So the only big issue is going to be this glary bright white thing on the top of the car. Um, actually, you know, I'm going to get out and sign out and try to... Oh, no, because that'll cost money. It costs money every time to rent the car out. So we'll just deal with the bright white light. Hopefully we can knock it off or something at some point. I'll try my best to keep it angled. Um... Yeah, so we'll just kind of dig into it and see what we can find. Um, looks like we got a fare already. A stab up both your eyes, fuckhead. Who leaves car riding, lying around? Why? What? What are you doing? Leaving cars on the fucking road. Hey, watch out! You're going the wrong fucking way! Easy shit. Shouldn't be texting and driving, huh? You guys want to see the camera? <laughs> it took five minutes. Okay. We'll do it this way then. Um, <laughs> so, um, this is my attempt at GTA RP. Hey. Of course we do. Okay, well, if I if I break in and have character, then don't be too surprised. Um, this car is half broken already. So, um, this is uh, the story of taxi driver Alexander Hall. Uh, he's kind of got a, a New York slash Boston accent. I'm going the wrong fucking way. It's kind of like a mix between the two because I can't do either one consistently, but if I mix them together, I do pretty okay. Um, and uh, yeah, in-game voice chat works pretty well. This is going to be great. I think so. I know I can. I was just, I was going for immersion is what it was. I was going for immersion. But uh, yeah, don't mind my weird looks and my overfocus. So if, if I miss chat messages, I'm sorry. Just send it again. And hopefully I'll catch it this. What the fuck is going on here? Hey, Zavi. Okay. <laughs> I know why you're here. Well, Zavi, you know, I appreciate any input you can give because uh, you obviously have a bit more experience with this than I do. So I think that's uh, I think that's a fair compromise. Um, you know, I, I can talk to you guys while I'm doing stuff back and forth because sometimes this shit is boring. You know, I'm just driving a cab. There's my character accent coming up. I'm just driving a cab and. Uh, 
And yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's not the most engaging thing. This is like, unfortunately, this is the way that my character currently makes money is driving a cab, right? So it might not be the most entertaining thing, but um, hopefully we managed to get into some RP. I actually had like a really good experience earlier, like some like pretty decent RP with multiple characters. So it was pretty cool to stumble across some people. I'm hoping that I can do that again while we're playing today. Um, let me know if anything is too loud or too quiet. Um, I'll try my best to, to do some audio uh, adjustments as need be, but I think everything's pretty lined up. We don't have to get me into trouble. Sometimes these streams will literally just be him driving the cab around, but I did uh, make real money. Well, I, uh, I'm not doing necessarily a crim um, playthrough. I'm, I'm like criminal support. So uh, Alex is a driver. Um, so he's, he's kind of like, he walks the criminal line. Um, although earlier he saw some shady shit going on and he did call 911 to keep up his law-abiding citizen act. Plus he didn't know those people. So he's like, fuck those guys, right? So he kind of dances the line a little bit. Um, and, on, and like, I called the cops on those guys, honestly, just to start future drama for myself. So like one day they'll come down and I'll be like, Hey, you're that taxi driver. We're going to fucking kill you. It'll be great. Um, I sincerely hope that happens. Um, so I, I kind of set I set up some role play for myself for the future, assuming I come across that same character again. I hope I do, because that'd be a lot more interesting. Um, you know, like I've watched a lot of role play uh, before, like a lot of RP, um, mostly like the no, like the, the no, no pixel main server stuff. Um, so I dug into um, a few different characters. Of course, Kyle Pratt, because everyone watch, watch, watches Kyle. Um, uh, it's 15 bucks right now, and no, the server is free. You can whitelist yourself to like skip queues, but otherwise, yeah, the server is free to play. Um, you have to download GTA 5 and 5M, but in-game voice chat works fine. Plays lawful, doesn't use blinkers. You know what? I told you I was dancing the line. Yeah, but everyone watches Fred. Um, uh, yeah, F-I-V-E-M. It's actually spelled out. Um, somebody want to... Yeah, Zabby, can you drop the link for 5M in chat? Just for anybody who wants to, like, take a look at it. Seven hundred fifty-eight bucks for that. How the fuck has never closed the goddamn door? Thanks, Zabby. Drive Valheim, need friends, I guess. Well, I mean, Valheim is, uh, you can play it single player, but we'll be running a server in the next update when Mistlands comes out. Just gonna wait here for another fair to pop up. Um. Is there certain servers to do RP or just hope, hop in whatever? Um, no, no, yeah, so you, um, God Record, sorry to answer your question. Um, so 5M is a third-party program that uses the GTA 5 engine, but connects to independent servers um, that are role-playing only. So anytime I interact with another player, it's actually role-played out. And the reason why I like this server and, like, why I liked watching NoPixel was because they have something called uh, Value of Life. So you can't just run around killing people willy-nilly. You have to interact with people and, and like, role-play. You can't just, like, go on a killing spree. I mean, like, you could if it's your character, but, you know, that kind of stuff won't last very long and, and the admins don't really like it. So, yeah, it's, it's very, like, strict RP. So, like, I developed the character. Um, this, this is... If I can get him not in that fucking light. So this is Alexander Hall. And he is... Uh, driver basically um he has like a a boston new york accent and he talks kind of weird because it's like mixed family and uh you could rp you could rp a silly serial killer you could run around trying to find people and like tie them up and throw them in your trunk and yeah you totally could 
Um, permadeath is up to the individual character, though. So, like, if you RP'd, like, kidnapping me and, like, killing me, I would survive unless I said my character died. It wouldn't be up to you. That's the only limitation of that. But otherwise, it would work fine. Um, yeah, so this is Alexander Hall. Um, I'm noticing now my... He looks fatter to you than he does to me. Let me see if I can get this. There's definitely a resolution issue. We're going to try and sort that resolution issue up before I keep playing because that is not bueno. Um, graphics. No. No. Uh, advanced graphics. That's what I want. Okay, so that's how he's supposed to look. Someone just got murdered. Um, and let's try bumping it back up to 1440 now. And does that work? No, it doesn't. Okay, we're going to be playing a 1080p then, which is fine. It's still going to look good. I just like the resolution bump personally. There we go. This is Alexander Hall, not that fat guy. <laughs> no, it's not AARP. Thanks for lurking. You guys are weird. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get another fair. And I'm glad that the game looks the way it's supposed to now. I mean, you know, and, and again, I, I have the textures, like, cranked, so there's, like, I don't think I'll have any issues loading anything. I should be able to pre-spin the camera and stuff. Yeah, the top, the top light, the, the roof light there is going to be fucking bright as shit for the first little while, and it's just the way it's going to be. Um, I also noticed that I don't have chat on my side monitor anymore, so I'll try and pay attention up there. Um, or find a way to... I wonder if I run a borderless window, if that'll fix it. Uh, graphics monitor. Oh, I can't run a borderless window. Oh, there we go. Uh, apply changes. Does that fix it? I think that fixes it. Hey, that works. All right. Now we're off to the races. You motherfucker! If you guys get together and kidnap me and murder me, um, <laughs> something something urge to be a story killer. <laughs> Use proximity voice chat, or you type it all like old school script. Um, it's proximity voice chat. So I have voice chat set up on button four on my mouse. So whenever I'm talking to somebody, um, I can even like turn around and my character's lips will move when I'm talking into the microphone. Um, oh, looks like we got a fare here. So let's try and cut across the highway like a crazy person. There we go. Yeah, prox chat is pretty dope. I, I enjoy the fact that it's proxy chat so I can uh, just like engage with people easily. And it just uses the in-game chat. It's not using like a private server. Some um, no pixel servers and some like uh, RP servers use like TeamSpeak or Mumble or something else to like sideload chat. But this one just uses the in-game chat function, which is awesome because then you don't need any extra software or like server connectivity issues or any of that shit, you just go. So as long as you have a decent internet connection, it actually works super duper well. So I'm really hoping I stumble across some RP. Um, looking to see if I can make another character. Yeah, it's that's that's the tough part is like coming up with a character or I mean like you can just re-roll the same one. Hey, Dragon, how you doing, buddy? Um, checks out the cycle game. Um, it was good, but it's not finished yet, and there's some, like, limiting factors to it. I did uninstall it just because it's a beta, so it's not on for, like, that long right now. But you can apply for the beta. 
Um, but I, I'm probably not going to be playing it consistently until they fix a few things that I had an issue with. Um, mostly like latency based things. I love you too, buddy. I know you, you do you and, uh, you know, stick around as much as you can. Cause I'd love to, love to talk to you. Love having you here as always. Oh. My seatbelt wasn't on. No, there's actually no visual mods. Um, I think I will get some though, just for like these light glares and effects. I wouldn't mind um, using, what's it called? Not pixel, but some other shit. What's the name of that visual mod for this thing? Um, um, I'll have to find it. But yeah, this this is just the base game. Um, the visual effects, they did an update um, like a month ago and added some, like not ray tracing, but like global illumination effects. We're going to Vinewood? Fuck me. What the fuck is going on? Hey. Dick. How old is this game? This game is... It was released in 2000 and... I want to say 13. I think it's 2013. I could be wrong. You've always won. Oh no! Fuck sakes. At least that fucking bright light ain't on top anymore. The fuck do I get out of here? Hey, uh, asshole in the back. Sorry about whatever the fuck just happened there. Um. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Undercover cabbie. Nice. Yeah, it was, uh, no, guess four. And I'm pretty sure GTA 5 started on PS4. And then there was PS4 Pro version. You guys are distracting my driving. Um, there's PS4, PS4 Pro. Was there a PS3 version of this? Really? God. Ugh. Oh, wait, maybe you're, you're right. It was a PS3. Holy shit, you're right. No, you're you're correct. I'm just behind one generation in my head. God damn, dude. Yeah, but GTA 6 has been confirmed in development, so like I'm looking forward to getting that. And I think that there's going to be a lot more uh, flexibility for RP stuff in 6 as well, because I see the success of this and I, I guarantee they're going to have, like, more seamless ways of setting that up. Yeah, I can't wait for GTA 6. It's going to be crazy. Um, so the thing I like about this server is it's not very hard to make money. Um, like, with my fare, and then I get 575 bucks every few minutes. I don't know if it's 15 minutes or what. I think it's every 15 minutes. Um, it's pretty easy to make money if you want to sit there and grind. I mean, you can do, like, crime stuff. So there's, like, robbing banks and whatever else. Um, the single player updates for GTA 5? No. God damn it. Um, no, the single player updates for GTA 5 will probably stop at some point. But GTA 6, they'll probably have... Uh, for six? Yeah, yeah, they'll they'll do updates for it.
Yeah, robbing the bank's pretty cool. <laughs> Take you hostage. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, let her rip. I'll be your hostage. Or I could be your driver. Think about that. Don't don't let today's driving confuse you or make you think that I'm not capable of driving. Yeah, I have made $2,000 in the last 15 minutes of gameplay. Pretty good. Landed a plane on the blimp. On the blimp. Blah, 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 blah. Nice. Yeah, with a controller, um, it's a lot easier to, like, fly and drive and stuff. I find... I, I, I drive with a controller. I kind of need to. But yeah, I, I found just like driving around picking up fares in the taxi got me a bunch of RP opportunities. So I'm just going to kind of keep doing that. Um, what is this? I'll go postal delivery. Keyboard, yeah, is weird. Probably not as impressive nowadays because I've seen some stick flying way back when. I mean, no, no, it's, it's still impressive. I mean, landing a plane on top of the blimp doesn't seem like it would be all that easy. Um, do I have any food? We should get some food. Have to dump all these keys at some point, too. That's what we'll do. We'll go get some food. Um, there's a store around the corner. Perfect. Let's all go to the food store. Let's all go to the food store. Let's all go to the food store and get ourselves some food. Hurry up. Taxi parking. Um, no, so when I have the echo turned on, that means internal monologue to the character. Is my intention anyway. Yeah, the RPX, I'm, that's what I'm going for. I mean, I, I'm trying to emulate uh, one of the um, major RPX I used to watch, which was Silent Sentry. Who plays Ron Otterman. Not the backseat. Get out of there. Who plays Ron Otterman on No Pixel. Um, yeah, it's all good. What slot is that in? Inventory. Cheeseburger is in slot three. And we're full of food. I wonder what's up with that siren. Huh? The fuck is going on up here now? I'm gonna do my fucking job. Can I, can I go around that? Can, can, can I... Can I go around that? They're <laughs> not coming for me. I'll just... I'll just wait for them to finish. That's one way to get the fuck out of here. Oh, 
<laughs> also nade. Have any grenades, boys? How am I supposed to toss grenades when I don't have any? It'd be really funny though. It's like blow up three cop cars. The fuck out of the way! Scotty, how you doing, buddy? Just grinding out some money for uh, from my guy here. How you doing, man? Well, I told you he was crim support, so like he might have nades or a, actually like I plan on eventually getting a gun. I think I kind of have to. I, I already met some shady characters, so. Yeah, I decided to get into RP finally. I've been thinking about it for a couple of years. Ever since like No Pixels first like started becoming a thing, I was just like, I kind of want to get into that. And I think I would really enjoy it. But now it's like, okay, you know, now I finally have the opportunity to do it on a server that has a lot of the same rules as like the actual No Pixel servers. So it's like, could be. Uh, could be good see how it goes i don't know i'm i'm still this is like day two technically not even day two this would be like this is still day one technically i played earlier today and just like set up my character the day before well i mean there's lots of like generators out there too so it's, you know you don't have to like rely completely on your own like fabrication you could you know go generate a name and generate a backstory for like a random rp character there's there's websites out there that'll just do it for you. I I did the entire development of my character, but um, um, if you join the Discord, then you can join the server directly. From the link, um, I I don't know which one this is. To be honest with you, I don't know I don't know what it's called. I think that guy's dead. Yeah, I'm going for uh, taxi driver by day and then getaway driver by night sort of thing. No, no, this, this is all I just ran around the server and figured out what I wanted to do. I kind of already had an idea that this is what my character was going to be. And like when you sign up for the server, you can like log in right away. But if you want to be whitelisted so that your character log you, logs in, even if there's a queue, they get bumped to the front. Um, you can actually like show the people who run the server, like the character development. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot of people driving taxi right now. So I, uh, I got whitelisted like within a day, which apparently like it usually takes up to 30. So. I think the idea of having um, a taxi driver RP is it has some potential benefit to them for some reason. I don't know. I'm not sure what really like struck a chord with them, but I went off and uh, I just developed my own character and signed up for whitelist and and just did the thing. And uh, 
it was actually like really satisfying creatively. Um, I'm, I'm a creative person, I'm a musician, right? And uh, getting into streaming was something that just kind of made sense to me and especially since the pandemic hit and all that. And then, uh, yeah, I kind of got to, got to let out a little bit of the creative juices doing this and it was fun. Um, but yeah, you like, you, you make your own experience on these servers. There isn't like an assigned job. You can apply for paramedic or police officer or like whatever. There's other like jobs that you can do. But then you have to commit a specific amount of time. You have to pass a test. Like, um, same thing for if you want to be like a lawyer or a judge or like one of like the major like law specific characters um, versus like the chaotic characters like myself. Um, you, you have to like commit X amount of hours and like certain days and whatever else. And like there's a whole schedule and rotation and whatever. So a bit goes into it, you know? Most of most of the interesting stuff happens around the non-law characters, unless like the law characters decide to walk the line. But yeah, the the uh, the RP I'm looking for is is you know that really thick content with with crims. I'm trying to like I, I met one today, and uh, but he disappeared. Um, but I'm hoping to like get in touch with him again somehow. But I didn't get his number, but like before he left, he just disappeared. It'd be a crooked cop for sure. And I mean, like that's that's a storyline. You you could develop a crooked cop, sign up for whitelist, and they would probably get you in there pretty quickly. It's a lot of fun, dude. Um, I have to adjust one of the option settings after I drop this character off, or after I drop this pair off. Because um, I want to turn the in-game music off. So just in case I scroll wheel or something and turn the radio on, it just doesn't play. Because um, I don't want that radio. I don't want in-game radio. I can control my own music with Spotify. Um, so in the game, um, when you first load in, it gives you a, like a random character model and stuff. But then if you don't like that, you can go to a clothing store. and change you found it good um you can go to a clothing store and change your the way you look and then you can go to a um a barber and change your hair and your face and stuff so like there's you customize a character on server but the biggest step is just getting into it in the first place and making sure your voice chat's set up and stuff like that that was actually one of my major concerns is making sure that voice worked, but today I got to interact with a couple of people and, and voice worked perfectly, so. I mean, if this character ends up getting like really good, but kind of like runs dry on content, I have an idea for another character, but I don't know how consistent that would be. Holy fuck, this place is busy. You got it, bud. I think it's kind of cool how I got to drop like an NPC off at a functional club within the game. gonna run to the bank and see what I'm at for money and do a deposit. Uh, no, questions are fine. I'm happy to answer questions. I mean, I'm still, I'm just getting into it myself, but I've watched quite a bit of RP and, and had an interest in it for a while. And I think it's just a good time to take the opportunity to, to get into it. Cool. 
got about 3,000 bucks. Uh, the paint job I want for my car is 5,000, so. Um, yeah, for content, it's great. Um, it kind of like opens up the possibilities quite a bit. Because like you basically like make your own content, but then like if other people interact with you, it just like adds that extra layer of onto it, all of it, right? Hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Uh, you used to RP, man? That'd be cool. That's a really good idea. Like, let chat create your backstory instead of you. Don't you fucking hit me, bud. Yeah, but that'd be interesting. Let chat create the backstory and like run the character and you just kind of like play out the interactions and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. And Twitch plays GTA 5 RP. <laughs> it'd be fun. No, there's no template. Um, I mean, obviously it's, it's set in modern day. That's really the only like limitation, but I've seen people play like superheroes. I've seen people play like basically like just like the in-game stuff is your only limitation. Obviously the superheroes were like, you know, the same ones like they have in Seattle. They, they dress up in leather costumes and just fight with their fists, but you get the idea. Yeah, letting Shaq create the, uh, the backstory is kind of a neat idea, dude. That's, that's something you should tweet about. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be cool to get a lot of other people's input. There's not a lot of like engaging stuff going on right now um just because like i said i'm running back and forth doing fairs to make some money but at the same time it's like i'm still getting into the server people don't know who i am yet i gotta meet some people i mean that's the eventual plan but did i miss my turn off or something oh no no we're going to the prison Shortcut. How many people are in there? Right now there's 60 people playing. I see 60, they just updated it. Let's go. In the fucking... Maybe you should put a fucking shirt on. Why are you... Did you bike here? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I see 60. On the... On the Discord, anyway. This is the only way to open these gates. You gotta give them a bump. Maybe he's just waiting to update or something. So, I mean, as you can see, my character, uh, being a cab driver, definitely likes to skirt the law. Um, 
Um, something's wrong with my voice settings. There we go. I don't know why it does that all by itself. Changes from normal to whisper. That guy almost fucking smoked me. All these locals calling cabs. Exactly, the fucking locals. I mean, if you want to do that, man, I'm, I'm all for it. You just have to, you just have to find me in, uh, in game. See, as you can see, I like to, I like to, you know, drive a little bit erratically, but totally in control the whole time, minus the two accidents that I've had. Which are mostly reading chat and trying to keep up with you guys. So it's not really my fault. It's actually your fault. Cabbie gang. Could work, could work. We all sign into cabbies and get paid 575 every, you know, I think it's every half an hour or hour. I can't tell. I think it's every half an hour. My last one was at 6.15, so it might be every hour. Yeah, we all sign in and drive cabs around, but then just do crime instead of picking up fares. It's like skirt the system. Don't blame us for your shitty driving. I'm gonna. Speaking of shitty driving. That's smoking. It's done. Leave it in the middle of the fucking road. Gets jumped by a bunch of cab drivers. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny. If you guys want to do that, I'm like I said, you you gotta find me in game. But once we got that organized, I'm I'm down for that. That sounds like an interesting story arc that we could play through. I don't know if you want to call it like cabby gang or like checker gang or some shit. Like we'll have to figure out a fun like play on words for it. Hey, close the fucking door. Hey, you still- I'm talking to you. Get back here. Close the fucking door. God damn it. Fuck you. pull over here and check the message that I got. There's lots of people are asking questions about this now, and I want to make sure... Make sure I didn't miss anything. There we go. We're good to go. Want to make sure I didn't miss anything there. I should have a new fare popping up pretty soon here. Um, I guess for anybody who's never used this server before or doesn't know anything about the game, um, I'll do a quick rundown of the UI while I'm waiting for another uh, fare to pop up. So on the bottom left, you'll see uh, a mini map. And by left, I mean that left. This, this is my left. Um, on the bottom left of the screen, there's a mini map um, because I'm in a car. If you're not in a car, there's no mini map. Um, and then from top left to bottom right, those bars. Green is health, blue is armor. Although I've never seen it go down. Maybe it's just never been up. Um, the uh, orangey brown color, that's food. And then purple is water. And obviously you gotta make sure that that's all, you know, taken care of and, and whatever. You gotta stay hydrated and fed, right? Just like real life. 
Um, and then you'll notice that there's a clock, um, something that says normal, which is the type of chatting I'm doing. There's also a whisper option, but normal is the one that makes the most sense. Uh, speedometer, um, the amount of fuel out of 100. Engine um, should be green. Mine's orange because I got in a couple of accidents. So if it gets into red, the car stops working. Belt is red and now it's green. And you see click seatbelt. So if I hit K, it puts my seatbelt on and then I can't get flung out of the car. Um, I'm glad you bought a God Wrecker. I'm looking forward to seeing you on server, dude. Oh, did I miss my turn off? Fuck. Uh, and then at the very bottom, it actually tells you your location, um, what road you're on, what direction you're going. Um, so that's actually mostly good for like, um, you know, reporting and stuff like that. So like if you're um, a police officer on radio, fuck me, police officer on radio or um, trying to tell your friends where you are, why, why couldn't I turn? I literally couldn't turn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that'll be a clip. Uh, Fucking piece of shit. I li it literally wouldn't let me turn away from it. I think I, uh, I think I, I hit that car and it like locked my steering. Well, fuck. Let's see if I can call a mechanic. Where am I? I can't get in the vehicle because it's broken. Um, I'm on Route 68. I don't know what the this highway is. Does it tell me anywhere? There we go. Route 68 off of Great Ocean Highway. Okay. Uh, I don't have a repair kit. No, I, I should have bought one. And now we wait for a mechanic. <laughs> and turn this music down a little bit. But the good news is we get to do some RP in a couple minutes. side of the road and uh, get out of the fucking way. Ah. Perfect. Someone's on the way to come get us. How many cab drivers are there? Uh, that I know of, just me. I haven't seen another one yet. There's lots of NPC cabs around, but I I think I'm the only one doing cab driving at the moment. Sorry, I just got something in my eye. There we go. So obviously Alexander's a little bit pissed. I can sit.
kind of a weird spot. I'm gonna I'm gonna re-emote. This is perfect. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I didn't take any uh, any damage there. <sighs> Until someone runs me over. Yeah, well, I mean, it's my choice to sit in the fucking road. Can't believe I broke my fucking car. What the hell happened? It wouldn't turn left. I'm stuck in the middle of fucking nowhere. No way Vinny's gonna fucking pay me for sitting in the middle of nowhere. Fucking tow truck better get here soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a really funny sound bite, hang on. Hi, my name is Alexander Hall, and you may wonder to yourself, how did I end up in this situation? Well, let me tell you, because it's a hell of a story. <laughs> When's that tow truck going to be here? I'm really hoping I get some solid RP out of this, because there he is, there he is, there he is. That was a long drive. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Um, I had a little accident. I can fix this if you want me to. Yeah, please. How, how, how much? Want me to go ahead and fix it? Uh, yeah, yeah, please, please. I think I saw a squirrel or something, and I fucking just freaked out and swung to the left. Almost ready, buddy. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your help. Almost ready. All right. Look at that. Let's make sure. All right, why don't you give her a try? She'll be good to go. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Yeah, good to go. Thank you. That's the one I wanted. All right, um, let's figure out where we can get this fixed. Closest one is that one. Little cop slide, get the fuck out of here. He didn't even charge me, or at least I didn't see money go to my account. So that was pretty cool. Looking forward to having to pay for the rest of the repair, though, because that's not going to be cheap. But I guess he gets paid for, like, the mechanic end of it and doesn't care about me paying him anything. A little bit different than other RP servers I've seen. Buy a three grand, probably. Doesn't want to work there. Do I have to drive into the There it is. Right. Engine must be off. Actually, 940 bucks. It's not bad. I'm okay with it. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And the repairing uh, timer is just on the bottom right, in case anybody's wondering how that works. So it just takes a little bit of time to repair it up. And uh, that's about all there is to it. So that's pretty cool. Also, I'm almost at 700 followers, which is kind of crazy. There we go. Bright and shiny like brand new. I wish they would tell you how much it would cost to do the repair before it does the repair. I mean, I just got half of it back in salary, so that's manageable. God, that is so bright. If anybody knows how to turn that off. That would be infinitely useful for everybody involved. Especially those of you watching me right now. I put my seatbelt on. Did she say you people? The fuck's that supposed to mean?
looking into it. <laughs> You're looking into what she meant by you people. Oh, you're looking into the, the light. That's what you meant. Thank you. Hey, how you doing, man? Where are we going to? Listen, you can't just grunt at me and point on a map where you want to go. Apparently you can. You're not even going that far. You could have fucking walked. Be 232 bucks. Close the fucking door. Hey, you. Hey, hey. Were you born in a fucking barn? Close the goddamn door next time. Fucking prick. Alex gets really offended when people don't close the door. Also, a pure salary is every hour, so I get 525 every hour for driving a taxi, which isn't bad, considering you get, like, all the fares and stuff, too. As long as you don't fucking destroy your taxi like I did, you actually uh, make it with like a goddamn bandit. But I've almost paid off the repairs, so we're, we're getting back to... Getting back into the black as far as money goes, which is nice. at the store and see if I can buy car repair kits and how much they would cost. Strawberry and they want me to go all the way back into town. It could give me a better pickup. Kids here. Oh, that's the wrong door. Yeah, I'm not sure there's a way to do it without just busting it off or turning the lighting off somehow. This is so goddamn bright. Everyone knows I'm a taxi. Cursed forever to have this bright light on top of my car. The fuck was that? I 
I wish I had been streaming earlier. I gave a ride a go I gave a ride to a ghost. I went to the pickup. There was nobody there, but then someone got in the car. And then when I drove to the destination, it got back out. It was crazy. Yeah, I gave a ride to a ghost in my cab earlier. I got to the, the, the pickup. There was nobody there, but then the door opened and something got in and closed the door. And then I drove to the destination and it dropped, uh, dropped it off and I got paid. It was funny. It was a g -g 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 ghost. Fuck's sake, not again. Listen here, you piece of shit. Get your piece of shit out of my fucking way, you piece of shit. Get out of here. Fucking brick. Damn locals. Are we literally going around the corner, lady? We're actually going around the fucking corner. That's... you... Okay, I won't talk shit because I'm taking the ammunition, so I imagine you're here to buy a gun, but... Thanks, thanks for the money. Can you close the goddamn door when you get out of the fucking cat? Goddamn. See how easy this is? You get you get up, you close the door. It's not that fucking hard. I'm glad you're enjoying my pain, Kush. <laughs> I'm not having a fun time. <laughs> Driving in this game is brutal. Yeah, my headlights out. I keep smashing. Well, people keep smashing into me. I'm in my lane and someone cuts across and slams into me. Look, a kitty cat. That's a strong cat. The cat just pushed me out of the way. Okay, good boy. Hey, Lance, how you doing, man? Just got home, nice. You gonna order some food, then boot up hunt? Nice.
I couldn't figure out. I, I was supposed to do some core keeper with Bribe, but he um, he is sleeping off uh, a lack of sleep. So <laughs> I told him that I'd find something else to do. And this is what I landed on. I thought about Hunt, but I was like, well, I want to start a little earlier. So I decided to try this out. And uh, we were talking about doing some Hunt tomorrow, though, I think, right? Yeah, I, I think we were, I think it was tomorrow. I don't know. We'll talk to Brian, figure it out. Unless Zappy wants to play some, but uh, I'm going to stick with this for tonight for a little while longer. Well, there is cops, it's just not where I am. They're busy chasing criminals. I mean, like NPC cops. Uh, I think you're correct. I'm pretty sure that's uh, those are my exact words. What the fuck? local cops yeah yeah thank you i'm still getting used to it <laughs> appreciate you Kush. fucking locals That's why I'm relying on you. Help me with my flubs. You know we gotta do this. Hey, uh, what, what's going on here? I hear that new Chrome X is hot. Whatever, dude. Aren't, aren't you a little cold over there to be... No? You're, you're good? Howdy, bro. Bitches need to stop hating, though. I think it's unusual that most of you are fully clothed and then you have one person in a bathing suit. Uh, can someone get her a jacket? I, I think it'll be smart to get her a jacket. Okay, like, don't, um, whatever. Considering everything that I've done so far, I don't think the local cops are going to be shooting at me anytime soon. The fuck? Oh. I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, hang on, we need to fix this fucking thing. Jesus. 
No. I was hoping to knock that thing off the top. <laughs> I'm hoping the next cab I get, um, there's like one that has just like a little tiny thing at the front. It's way, way better to deal with. I'm gonna have to ditch this cab at some point. Do a kickflip. Uh, that's your job, sir. Fucking Brody Falcon over here. Let's go, get in the car. Whatever. Throw to Eagle. Well, you know what? Doesn't mean you can't still do a kickflip. I'm just saying. Like there. Yeah, exactly. It's just to be able to do one. You know where the Mega Mall is? Um. I don't think I could navigate there instinctively, but I could probably look for it. Oh, <laughs> also that. Oh, yeah, I guess, eh? Um, yeah, he, he does like muscle, but the car he has right now is uh, a little coupe just because that's what was affordable. He's working his way up. Eventually, I'll probably go muscle car for sure. Um, he looks pretty good in like a Mustang or a Viper. How they moved out of the way. <laughs> uh, I think there is one. Right? Although at this point, uh, he's kind of given up on the night. He's going to go sign the cab in and go grab his car and get the paint job done that he's looking forward to. He did yoga and made a protein drink. Rar, rar right back. I'm glad you're having a good night. Much better than the last couple of days, huh? the shit that's good babe there i'm all clocked out now let's go find 
closest garage. I can pull my car out. Closest one seems to be that one. So I have to go by the bank anyway. So that works out. I'm gonna have to hoof it there though, because I don't have my fucking car here. You're wide awake? That's good. Obviously, Alexander has some feet issues. What's this? Oh, cool. <laughs> You're not my dad. <laughs> new feet, brand new feet. Actually, um... My first time on the server, I bought a bike to ride over to the cab co, and I ended up crashing the bike. And I had a bleeding foot and a bleeding knee, and I had to go get med kits to heal myself up. So now I just bring med kits everywhere with me. I think I still have some. Oh no, I ran out of med kits. I'll have to get some med kits. Ooh, -ooh daddy, that's me. <laughs> well, someone has to be. Might as well be you. There's 65 players online, and I have not seen many of them. The problem with being a cab driver is, like, the, the RP has to, like, come across you. It can't be forced. There you go. Just you wait till Brody makes it big. I'm excited. I can't wait. Where am I going? I'm hanging a left. Run, you dumb schmuck. Cab is to show for service, nice. Which is nice because you waste a day in here doing nothing easy. Oh yeah. Oh that's that's super easy to do. Okay, we'll run across this way. And then we'll go this way. And I'm gonna go pull all my cash out. We're gonna go paint my car. Perfect, 5,800. Gotta go up here across the street. This is where you get robbed. Honestly, that would be the most amazing thing to RP out. I would, I would be okay with somebody were to run up and rob me right now. Because it's like back to square one. Call a cab. <laughs> I'm the only cabbie. One time I crashed my cab and I pulled up the phone for the first time. I was like, let's see, I can dial 911. Which means I have to tell them what happened. Or I can call a mechanic, which costs money that I don't have any of. Or I can call a cab, which is me. It was, it was pretty funny. I wish I had been recording. There's a couple of things that happened already that I wish I had been recording, and I kind of regret not doing it. Okay, have fun. Yeah, we're 
We're almost at that garage. Right over here, I think. A little circle on the ground. second because I need to figure out how to track down my car because I don't know where my car is I gotta go find an insurance thing because you're supposed to store your car and I didn't do like a dumb dumb. Because there's a bunch of cars just like stored on the street that you can't get into. So I figured that was like how that worked. But... Garage call, of course, insurance. There's one there and then one there. I have to go over there. It's not that far. That's not that far. of running if you don't have a vehicle to rely on. But then can we make this jump? made a wicked jump. <laughs> Let's not do that again. <laughs> that fucking face plant. <laughs> It was so satisfying, but also, like, really bad for me. <laughs> but, like, I don't have any, like, permanent damage, so that's nice. Otherwise, it'd be popping up at the bottom left. Come on, come on. How far? I gotta go a little ways longer. Oh. Have to hold both buttons.
Come on, run. Run, you fat bastard. Oh man, I killed for a hot dog right now. Where's the fucking guy? None of that was a crosswalk. The fact that I have to run all the way the fuck over here. Ridiculous. Still getting used to the in-character part, so I'll, I'll be doing that every once in a while. Just talking internal monologue stuff eventually i'll be doing most of it like all like in rp mode so like no camera and like voice and stuff just for like the immersion factor i like the i like the idea of that so i i want to practice my way into it i guess How's everyone's nights going? And how many of you are downloading this right now? <laughs> nice going good? That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Inside the building? Good, my lady went to Calgary. Chest tattoo just me and the Elon are sleeping now. Though. Nice. That's pretty cool. Talk some RuneScape. How are you enjoying RuneScape, man? There's the insurance. How you doing? Hardware, nice to see you again. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, so what I've discovered is that I just spent all my money that I earned to be at the paint job on my car on insurance for my car. It's just like real life. Hey, fuck you! You, you fucking prick! 
Oh, the fuck almost ran me over. Hey, whatever, it's part of the game. There's a $50 garage fee too. Well, back to work, I guess. We can go to the casino. Yeah, this is my car that I bought. It's not fancy, but it gets the job done. Rick. That's the kind of car I want right there. I like it all like disgustingly bright neon green like lime green the fuck we'll go to the casino maybe somebody else will be at the casino we can have some role play You get welfare checks when you're not like logged into a job, which is funny because I have a job. Why does it stay running? Come on. Get actions, engines. Oh. Get out. Lock the car. Stay. Good car. There's somebody here. That's a fancy fucking car. What kind of fucking games they got here? Slots, 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 more slots. Hey, Camille, how you doing, man? Playing blackjack. Go fucking join him. Nineteen. Got 
18. How you doing? Hello, sir. How you doing? Good, good. Oh, hello there. Hello. Do you mind if I sit in or you want to play by yourself? Oh, no. You, you can join by all means. 11. Lucky 7. That's 12. Ready to have some fun? 13. I was born ready. <laughs> that sucks. Sitting at 18. 14. I'm doing good, Chameleon. Let's get those bets in. Let me know when you want to head out, Mr. Edward. Yep, we'll do. Place your chips. Mr. Edward, is it? Nice to meet you. My name's Alex Hall. Oh, nice to meet you, Alex. Can't play 5M. Ten. Ten. There's a two. Lucky 13. Oh, wow. There's 20. Another? That's pretty good. Hit me. 15. Must stand. Yeah, that's a good call. What is that, a bus tool? So, Ready to play. Good choice. Got a seven. Showing twelve. Thirteen. And twenty-one. Oh, damn. Wow. Get the fuck, fuck out of here. Please. So, Alex, I don't think I've uh, ever seen you around the city. Are you new? I'm new to the city, yeah. Oh, how new? Uh, I've only been here a couple of days. My uh, my cousin Vinny gave me a job driving cabs. Oh, wow, that's nice. That's nice. Ten. You get a lot of business driving cabs? I do pretty okay, Ten. yeah. Yeah, what are you into, if you don't mind me asking? No, oh, I'm, uh... You know, just There's enjoying 17. retirement. Well, that's pretty good. Lucky Spend uh, spending most of my time here at the casino. Card. Gotta spend that security check somehow. That's right. 16. Come on, you piece of shit, bust. And 17. Ah. Uh, damn. Rough. Uh, my luck was bound to run out. Time for beds, please. Hope it's not my fault. Oh no, not at all. I I had a little spell of bad luck before you got here. Place your chips. Well, hopefully you we can turn it all around. Night. Yeah. Got twenty two bucks hope left. So. <laughs> it's been like this. My all last night. my yeah, last two hundred fifty bucks. I'm gonna go. Got an eight. Four. And eight. There's seventeen. Showing eleven. What eleven? Would you That's like another card? fucking good. I'm good here. Lucky twenty-one. Nice. Oh, look good at for that. you. Hell yeah. Nice. That's and what you want to see. 17. Well, that's uh, all my money. <laughs> oh well, here, uh, here, ship, here, stay there. Let's get those bets in. Oh my god, thank you. Make sure to give it back to you. Oh no, keep it. You don't even have to gamble it away. If you just want to take the buddy and go, I don't blame you. Let's see those chips, please. I'm not going to ditch you at the table. That's kind of you. But I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You just give me 7,500 bucks. 
sitting at 15. And bust goes the dealer. Look at nice. That. Nice. Bets, please. Place your chips. Just really take these glasses off. Makes me look like a, an asshole sitting here in sunglasses. <laughs> well, some people wear their sunglasses at night. It's okay. 11. It's Ooh, true. 11. Got an eight. Give me that blackjack. Give me that blackjack. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good... That's yeah, come on. And you 14. fucking prick. Mm. How do you sleep at that's night? That's how empty Twitter is for Friday night. Another? Yeah, I saw that, uh... <laughs> that wonderful police officer is on duty. Fucking Emma? Yeah. No, no, not Emma. Emma's a good one. Yeah, right. Oh, you're talking about fucking yeah. Olivia. Yeah, I talked about Joe Olivia. 11. Yeah, fuck that cunt. And 21. 21. Are you it's fucking kidding fucking me? Damn. Wow. Oh my god, it's a raid. Hi, raiders. Thank you for coming in. We're That's just doing right. some GTA 5 RP. Let's see those chips. Doing some Let's gambling. Run to the ATM here soon. Thank you so much for the raid. Hey, Alturo. Nice to see you again. What, for, for cash out or oh, for yeah. actual cash? No, for, oh. for actual cash. Oh, okay. <laughs> and nine. Eleven. Give me something good All this right. time. I'm sick of your yeah, shit. Come on. That's a come good. on. Showing eleven. Okay, I, mean, I, I, I can bad. work with that. I can work that's with that. Twelve. Wow, two aces. That's not terrible. Fourteen. Are you fucking kidding me? A fourteen. That's, that's rough though. Showing sixteen. Oh. oh. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> no more scary games for you, Snow. Oh, good call. thing you did. That would have killed you. And 14. Come oh. on, bust. 14. Bust. Bust, you fuck. Soft. 19. You son oh. of a bitch. Oh. Damn. I... Huh. Let's get those bets in. Place your chips. Okay, one, one more hand. One more hand. Come on, let's make this a good one. Definitely make this a good one. I like that jacket you got on. Thank you. Yeah, it's I, always... I, I bought, I bought oh, it the sorry. day I got here. Oh, nice. That's nice. And you know, it's six. always refreshing to see someone dressed uh, Showing in style opposed and to the 14. street gangs that all too common. 16. Tell me about it. And that's the fucking truth. Would you like another card? No, I don't want another fucking card. You better bust, you piece of shit. Looking pretty set there, Mr. Edward. Yeah. Fuck oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Go. All right, all right. Well, I got to get rolling here, boys, but uh, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Edwards, and I didn't catch your name, sir. Ah, uh, Timmis, man. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. I um, hope we catch you around Pleasure. soon. Yeah, good to see you, Alex. Good to see you. Yep. You'll find us up here, probably. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> uh, how the fuck do I get out of here? Go this way. So, uh, I sit down at the table with this random guy who apparently is just rich or whatever. Because he's just sitting there playing poker. He's retired, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember what I got out of here. I'm lost. Oh, there we go. No? No. Over here. This way. There we go. Okay. Um, no more scary games for you? What were you playing? My shout-out bot apparently doesn't do the game thing anymore. Um, yeah, so I sat down at the table, and this guy, who is apparently just rich, hands me 7500 bucks after I run out of money. And I told him I'd pay him back, and he's like, no, no, you keep it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I sat down and played a few more hands with him, and that's not the way my car was when I left it. 
That was super kind of him. Mr. Edwards. I am not going to forget Mr. Edwards. I sincerely hope that I run across Mr. Edwards again. Why is my back window broke? Somebody ran into my car. God damn it. Where is the thing I'm looking for? There it is. Yeah, that's actually really rare. People don't just hand fucking 7,500 bucks out unless they know you. I literally just met him for the first fucking time. He gives me a bunch of money just because he's sitting on a bunch of money. That, that was crazy. So, like, naturally, I sat around and played some more hands with him until we got a win because, like, fuck losing. And now I can go paint my car the color I want, which is disgustingly lime green, and then everyone will know which car is mine. I'm not going to spend how much of time or how much of money customizing this car though because I'm going to switch it up for a muscle car down the road. But yeah, he's going to be my sugar daddy. I'm probably going to owe him at least one favor. And I'm okay with that. That's just more RP experience to be had. I'm just waiting for that little uh happening from earlier today to like come bite me in the ass again. 81 and Q. There's a Q? That's pretty cool. Sorry you had to wait for a queue, but I feel special now that I'm on. <laughs> Prepare. Free spray. Primary color. Classic. Lime green. This is kind of my color in case you hadn't noticed. Racing green? No, no. We want lime green. And out of curiosity, how much for a spoiler? Uh, that is all my money. I need money to be able to drive my cab with. Now we got the fucking car of our dreams here. Not really the car of our dreams, but this is this is this will do. What did I miss? I, Dude, okay. We're going to pause and explain to Lance what happened because it's pretty dope. Hang on. Let me just pull off to the side of the road where I won't get fucking hit. There we go. Okay. Hang, hang on. Hang on. So. I did a couple of fares. I had some money left over, but I had to pay $5,000 to insure my car and then pull the car out was another like, what was it? 50 bucks so then I, I had no money left so i went to the casino with my last like 500 bucks or whatever it was and i played uh blackjack with a guy named mr edwards that i just met and i ran out of money and said well that's my last hand i'm out and mr edwards gave me 7500 dollars and uh told me to keep it which means i think i might owe him a favor later What kind of favor? I'm not too sure. Gotta send him lewds? God, I hope so. That would be way more entertaining than anything else I could come up with. Did he call you cute afterwards? He didn't. He did He did compliment my jacket, though. So, we'll see what happens with that. But anyway. Now we got the car looking the way we want. It doesn't, uh, I can't really punch off the line very good, though, because it spins out a lot. It's got some decent top speed to it for a $7,200 car, but 
just the jacket on you and nothing else. Honestly, I could do that though. Like, sign me up, I'm on board. Oh, come on. But it'd be it'd be super funny if uh if I come if I, if I like I stumble across him one day like I'm just driving the cab around and he's all like Is that you Alex? I need a ride. Quick. You know, some shit like that. It'd be so cool. I just, I, I really hope something comes out of it. Vehicle's locked. Perfect. Oh, good. We got the good one. This light is not nearly as bright as the other one. See? Like, it's, it's not even, like, a tenth as bad. That other one's so goddamn bright. So we're going to run a couple more fares and see if we can get into some more trouble on the on the road here. Car, stay. Why is it still fucking on? Like, wasting gas there. Stupid fucking piece of shit. Now it's off and locked. That's not the seat I want you to be in. And just like my fares, it doesn't close the fucking door. There. There we go. Hi, Meg. It's been an interesting day already. Let's just say that. So for those who of you who have not uh, been paying attention to what I've been doing or haven't been here, um, this is Alex Hall. He's a taxi driver. He's got like a Boston, thanks for the check, a Boston slash uh, New York accent mixture. What is the Team Mononoke thing? Okay, so Mononoke Kodama is a team run by Ghost in the Machine. And he's invited myself and else and a bunch of other creators that he enjoys watching um, to be part of a stream team. And we basically just support each other and build each other up and, you know. It's just, uh, it's just a team of streamers who uh, support each other. And we have this big Discord. And... There we go. Thanks for me, Lillian. Yeah. Oh. Some shit going on there. Do you want that emote? Uh, you have to subscribe to Ghost in the Machines channel to get that emote. I don't know if I'm allowed to use it or not. I don't think I am. I think you can only get it from him. Pretty fucking deep. Pretty fucking cute though, right? I love it. <laughs> Shit, worth it. Yeah. Um, Chameleon Lance is, um... He streams sporadically and uh, chooses not to be affiliated. He's, he just likes to stream when he feels like streaming. He just does a thing. I don't think, uh, I, I don't know if Lance would ever be interested in being on a team, but if you were ever interested, Lance, you let me know, and I'm sure that we can find a team that'll work for you, uh, assuming that Mononoke Kadama wouldn't work for you. Maybe it would, who knows?
I am? That's awesome. I will have to add that. Is there an animated one? Because I have animated slots available. Also, thank you, El Churro. You fucking legend. So yeah, we're just kind of grinding out some money the honest way. <laughs> Meg, it's okay. You don't think there is one? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can be on a team if you're not affiliated. I don't. I, I honestly don't know if that's a thing or not. But yeah, if, if you're never planning to do that kind of thing, I, I mean, you you stream like every once in a while. You're thinking about doing it weekly or bi-weekly or something, aren't you? If I recall correctly, because you're kind of do that that bow build in Elden Ring that everybody is watching. So. Gonna do every Wednesday? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I've I found like viewership is very sporadic. Um, it's so weird, um, especially right now, just like with it warming up and people going outside and shit. It's just this like sort of weird drop in viewership across the board for everybody. So, but I think Twitch kind of changed the algorithm as to like who's a watcher and who's not, and like how long you have to be in the channel to count. Blah 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 blah. Like I think there's a whole thing to it now. But. Um, I'm gonna work on a person tomorrow, so I'm ready for the next time you want to do this. Um, I'm gonna figure out, like this. This was very impromptu. I was supposed to play Core Keeper tonight, so I'm gonna find a regular night for this and do this once a week. Um, but I'll have to figure out how often I do this or or how much I enjoy it. Um, I'll probably end up playing off stream a little bit just to grind out some money, just to make things more interesting for myself, but. From Australia. I mean, you can check your ping if you download 5M and uh, look for the USA RRP server. Um, I don't know which one it is, but it's one of them. Um, you can see what your ping is compared to the server, I believe. There's going to be a lot of new shit. I plans to do streams eventually. Everything's going to be bite the bullet. I'm trying not to crash my cab. Art TikToks, Instagram first. It's not a bad idea. I mean, you, you can still do all that stuff anyway. Like, Twitch is definitely... Like, in my opinion, Twitch is not um, something that's, like, necessarily high profitability, at least for um, a longer period of time. Do I really... I really have to do that. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, Twitch. Twitch is like a like an interactive platform. It's not a profit platform, I don't think. The biggest issue with living in Canada is that the TikTok Creators Fund doesn't apply to you. Same thing with Instagram. There's no like, unless you're selling a product, you're you're unlikely to make any profit off of either of them, unfortunately. Although you being American, you might have access to the creator platform, but then they might like lock you up via IP or something. I don't fucking know. A lot of back and forth concepts to that, so you'd have to you'd have to dig into it and see what you're eligible for. This is like I know how talented you are, so like the idea of you profiting off of something that you already love to do sounds fantastic. Like that's that's what I'm doing here. I'm I'm making very small amounts of profit <laughs> comparatively to others. It is a slow process, but yeah, you're you're really talented, and I, I think that you definitely have uh, a chance of like doing something with it if that's what you want to do. It's it's just there definitely is like a build up process, and having like gone through that over the last year and just finally now finding my stride, it's uh, careful. Small is greater than nothing. Hundred percent, you're right. You know, I, I definitely appreciate, um, you know, anybody that comes into streams. And, and you know, I, I have, luckily, um, you know, a, a job that I'm able to uh, perform well enough at that the income I get from this just goes right back into streaming. So anybody that, like, 
And any money that I get from Twitch just goes right back into Twitch, whether it's like community giveaways or buying subs for other channels or like gift subs, stuff like that. Like all of my all of my Twitch money just goes right back into the other creators that, you know, that I want to support. Instead of going for another job, I'm seriously considering starting up my own business, just not just freelance stuff, an actual business. I mean, you should do that, Meg. I mean, honestly, like, that's why I was so, like, you know, insistent on, uh, you know, paying you for the sub or for the uh, emotes and stuff you made for me because you, you know, you went above and beyond my wildest expectations and, and knocked that out of the park. Like, there are people who sub to my channel specifically for the emotes that you created. I mean, God, you got to give back, you know? If, if you're capable of giving back, you got to. Well, it's because I love you, Meg. You're, you're a great human, and, you know, you definitely deserve... Like, you, your your art has value. You know, I've, I believe that, like, everybody who does a service job, or any, anybody who does a, a job where, you know, it, like, everything that you, you handle has intrinsic value, like... Um, emotional support and uh, like I'm talking about like therapists and stuff or you know like digital art Any, anything digital has an intrinsic value because it, it only has the value of what someone's willing to pay for that's what intrinsic means right so I think the idea of paying a, an artist for work properly like I would feel really bad not paying you like I, I knew that I had to give you something so I was thankful that I was able to do that and and you know pay you an amount that we both agreed seemed appropriate from the work that you've done, which is vast and worth everything to me. You know, my, my channel wouldn't be half of what it is without you, like, having the ability to take my personality and put it into a picture is literally what you've done. Like, that's, that's a fucking talent. And if you can do, like, you could definitely do that for other people. And I think that you are more than capable of, of making that into something great. So, exactly. So, like, Meg, whatever it is you need from me to help you step along, like, if you need something, you let me know. And I'm 100%, like, right behind you. I, I support you fully. Clearly. That would be super cool to have, like, a physical studio separate from where you live. I knew what you meant. Um, I think that... Um, you want to teach art classes? That'd be super cool. Like after school program style or like to adults? Or both? To tap this gate super lightly. There we go. Yay, money. Oh. Uh, hey man, do you need a ride? Where, where are we going? Uh, just up the street here. Uh, Yo, does this cost anything? Because I'm kind of poor. Uh, we'll call this one a freebie. Just uh, remember Alexander Hall, and we'll talk one time again. I. So you just get out or something? Yeah. I didn't even do anything. Yeah. No well, it, they shot me in the head. They really shot me in the head. They shot, shotgun. They, they shot I didn't even have a gun on me. Really? Ridiculous. Yeah, it's insane, man. Ridiculous. I know, right? Yeah, right here, son. Alright, thanks, man. Have a good one, eh? Yep. I lost my fucking door! <laughs> this is why you closed the fucking door! <laughs> well, now I don't have one, so we don't have to worry about it. Through my fucking checkpoint there. 
Whatever, I'll just dump the cab on the fucking company. They can fix the door. I wish I could pick up the door and put it in the trunk. <laughs> That'd be so fucking funny. Thank you, Lance. That actually, like, I appreciate that feedback. Getting some frame dip here. I have to turn the settings down a touch. Just a touch. And the cab get over here. Uh, you gotta meet me, man. You gotta meet me and learn my phone number and name and shit. Y you don't get the no no uh, no no out of game gaming. Is uh, is the rules on this server? <laughs> Thanks, the sick drift. Went to therapy today, so I had to go over a lot of stuff. I've been wanting to feel my slow this month has been weird. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I'm glad you had the opportunity to go to therapy though. Like that's that's a always a really rewarding experience, at least for me anyway. I always find it really rewarding to be able to sit down and talk to somebody and, and let out all of the stuff that you can't really dump on uh, you know, a friend or a partner or whatever. You know, obviously, I my my DMs and and you know my phone number. Like, you can message me on WhatsApp or whatever. Like, it's always open to you to talk. But uh, I understand that there's definitely like limitations about what you want to say to a friend or how much you want to put on them, right? Also, be validated. Yeah. Oop. That's the other thing. Validation is huge, and very few people can give you that if they if like if you're connected to them too deeply like we're really good friends so me just saying like yeah definitely do that it's great huh it's like that doesn't really offer you validation At least the car didn't take too much damage. Um, good news is I found my sculpting stuff. Nice. That's awesome, Meg. And yeah, absolutely. It's it's always good to have um, yeah validation from uh, like a professional, obviously. Yeah, somebody in the field and, and, you know, somebody external to everything that's happening is also really important, too, you know? Yeah, right. But I, I, I think it's somebody we know. You got 5M working. The only plan on all servers and they're horrible. Yeah, this one's called USA RRP, and it's a strict RP server. So you need to be in character. Um, there is no like you can't run around doing like killing sprees and shit like that. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go and correct. Like like you're really that person, and and value of life is important. I'm trying to drop frames a bit. I think it's filling up in memory, maybe. Probably some leaking and stuff. I'll, I'll have to crank the graphics down a couple notches, maybe. Which is weird, because my system's a fucking beast. But it also could be just that I'm... Oh, maybe it's fixed up. Yeah, we'll drop this fare off, and then we'll go see who, uh, who pinged this. Alright, get out. Good boy. Yeah, exactly. He 
Even the animals hate you. It's true. I'm gonna go pick up this guy and then uh, probably play for another half an hour or so. I don't want to go too late, but definitely want to hang out with you guys because I uh, yesterday's stream was really short I just wasn't really feeling it 100% and like a lot of you guys are busy doing other stuff so it's like we couldn't really interact all that much but uh, this has been great this has been a good stream I really am uh, enjoying you know obviously a lot of this is just driving around and me talking shit but that's fine we, we had some pretty cool experiences already we saw some funny stuff I made that wicked jump and face planted into a fucking like metal staircase that was pretty funny there's definitely some, like, really, really fun stuff that happens in this game, so. Am I tripped over my own feet? That was so funny. <laughs> Miss my turn off. Oh shit. Holy shit. Yeah, sounds like something I would do, too. Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, you know, I was wanting to ride out of this event. Didn't know if uh, you were still on the clock. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. What, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, I didn't know if you could uh, take me to my house. Uh, I sure can. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, hop in. Yeah, absolutely, Miss Edward. Yep, I'll see you. Yeah, where? Um, let me know where to. All right. See that spot? Sure do. Yeah, I see that one there. Alrighty. This is fucking cool. So the taxi biz, how's it treating you? Oh, uh, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. No, oh, that's good. That's good. What the, what, were were, uh, what, what were you up to? All, all oh, the way sorry. up here. What were you up to all the way up here? Oh, there was that uh, the fight club, the fight night event going on up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that uh, on uh, on Twitter there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a nice little thing people people do. You can win some good money if you're good with your hands. Yeah, I thought about entering, but I was, uh, I'm still pretty new and trying to, trying to make my way, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got you. So, uh, you think, uh, think you'll just stick with the whole taxi thing? Think you might branch out? Any plans there? I might branch out a little bit once I get... Uh, get a car of my own i might do some uh, private driving stuff like that you know oh I f yeah i get it well, uh you know after after uh after we get to my place we'll uh, exchange numbers you ever looking for work you, uh you let me know absolutely i would love that yeah i should should uh be noted some of it you know might not be on the legal side if that is something you're okay with i wear gloves for a reason sir yeah that's that's what i like to hear that's what i like to hear alex so who uh how, how'd the fights go did you fight or are you just watching oh no i was i was just uh, i was just watching a couple of a couple of friends i know went hadn't seen him in a while 
figured I'd stop in, say hello. And it's not really my thing. You know, a little too old to be uh, that active. Oh, well, fair enough, fair enough. But, uh, you know, I think the next time they do that, you should think about, uh... Think about uh, entering. I definitely will. I uh, I used to used to box a little bit back home, so I think that'd be uh, be fun. Oh, that's good. That's good. Where are you from? Uh, somewhere between New York and Boston. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. Like a like a little suburb or just a small town? Uh, yeah, it's a little small town, kind of just just outside Boston. Oh, okay. All right. I I, I figured that accent sounded uh, Bostonian. It's a little, a little tricky. We'll just uh, pull in right here on the onto the gravel here. There we go. All righty. Yeah, I appreciate that. Here, do you wanna you wanna walk over this way or? Yeah, sure, sure. All right. Lost. Uh, didn't have a good winning streak there at the casino, so I'll uh, take some money out of my house and give you a good tip. Well, no, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, no, we, uh, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I know the troubles of, uh, you know, being new to the city, so I completely understand. Definitely. Well, yeah, no, I appreciate you giving me a call. I, uh, I wasn't sure who pinged me, so it was, uh, interesting to, uh, see that it was you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Here, let me... Yeah, let me ask you this. You got something to defend yourself out there? Being a taxi driver can be dangerous. Uh, just my two hands for now. You wanna, wanna give you something that'll be, uh, untraceable? If, uh, if you got extra and don't mind, uh, art and ways, I'll make sure to never point it at you. Absolutely. Let me do that for you. go uh thank you you're welcome so uh what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put that in one of your um oh goodness one of your like top four pocket slots up there uh yeah and, yeah it's in there now yeah and then uh you know you, you flex whatever uh, corresponding muscle that it would be in right right then uh you'll want to you know, make sure you have the safety turned off. So you want to, you know, aim it and then flex your C muscle and that'll uh, turn the safety off. There's that tip for you. Thank you so much, sir. You're so generous. Oh, you know, I, you know, I do what I can. I do what I can. Yeah, you want to aim that? Yep. Make sure the safety's off there. Okay, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, oh yeah. This is uh, this is a nice uh, nice toy you give me. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Like I said, it's untraceable. But with that being said, if an officer finds that on you, you might get into some trouble. I'll make sure he never finds it. Hey, that's that's good. That's good. Let's see. Let me give you my number. Uh, yeah, please, please. All right, let me know when you're ready for it. Ready when you are. All right, name's Edward Sanders. And the number is 815-4031. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry, oh goodness. sorry. <laughs> You are fine. <laughs> You're fine. Alrighty. Go ahead and, uh... Did you, you saved it as a contact? Uh, I think, like, I just got this phone. I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Okay, so you'll, um... You'll go to the contacts app there on your phone. Next right. to messages. Right, okay, yeah. And, uh, edit contacts. And that's how you'll, uh... You know, it gives you the option for the name and the uh, the number there. 
Uh, oh, that one. And I can list off the number again whenever you're ready. Uh, yes, I'm ready this time. Alrighty. Uh, 815 There we go. Now I got it right. There we go. Go ahead and uh, shoot me a message. So you can uh, do that in the uh, the messages tab there. The top option will be new message. It'll bring it to your contacts. There we go. There we go. All right. Like I said, if this you, is the uh, sugar daddy. Yes. You ever need work? You know, shoot me a shoot me a text. Even call me. Definitely. Uh, if, if I'm if I'm around, I'll uh. I'll see what we can do. And if you ever need an extra pair of hands or uh, somebody to give you a ride somewhere, you uh, shoot me a message. Hey, I will absolutely do that. You seem like a stand-up guy. I'll keep you in mind for things. Well, thank you, thank you. It was uh, very, very nice to uh, to meet you and greet you and get to know you. Uh, likewise, Alexander. Likewise. Do you prefer Alex or Alexander? Either or. doesn't matter to me. All right. Well, Alex... Pleasure to meet you. Hopefully, uh, we can work together. I hope so too, Edward. It's good to meet you. We'll talk yeah, to you soon, to eh? You. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. What? <laughs> What just happened? And he gave me 7,500 in the casino too. So this dude's giving me $12,500 already today. And a gun, he gave me a gun. So I have an untraceable gun that I didn't have to pay for or get a license for. A license is like seven grand. We <laughs> need to highlight that entire sequence. Holy shit. I'm like, I'm so like excited. I'm like sweating. It's fucking crazy. And then I punched him at the end. <laughs> oh, fuck. Trim life started. Didn't even mean to. That was so great. Oh man, thank you all for being here and celebrating with me. That was fucking awesome. I wish I had fucking moments. I'd give you all a coin. Um, got them all worked up now. Um, I'm gonna do like one more fair and and uh, and then we'll call it good. That was that was great. That was really fucking great. Um, <clears throat> that was that was awesome. That was state and character. I like him. Oh, he's fun. I like him. He's here's some money and a gun. <laughs> Sounds good, Lance. <laughs> when I, hit him, I didn't mean to hit him. I just cl I, I clicked. I clicked, and that means punch in this fucking game. Oh, God, that was like that was sweaty. That was so good, though. <laughs> you laughed and startled your cat. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way! Fucking locals. So far, so good. You know, like, obviously none of that was my intention starting, so it's, it's just, it's so... I love that I just, like, dove into some RP. And, uh, and one day, and we're already, like, establishing connections and relationships with people, and, and just... Hmm. So great. I can't wait for my first... Chase never goes the way you plan. You don't plan RP, you just experience it. You react. All acting is reacting.
Uh, I was just saying, isn't everyone glad I slept to record? Uh, yes, right. Sorry, I did say you see that, and I kind of glossed over it. I apologize. Yes. Um, no, I'm not glad you slept through. I'm, I'm very, very upset with you, Mister. Not really. I was looking forward to Core Keeper, but I'm glad that I ended up like doing this because this was a lot more rewarding than I thought it would be. Yeah, you just have to live in the moment. You just, you just get into it, you know. Jesus Christ! Really? My poor camp. <laughs> well, we're not going to block traffic, so we'll get out of the way. It's not like the camp is actually that hurt, but... I just got hit by a cop, Leave. I, I just got hit by a cop. I'm trying to report a hit and run, man. Yeah, they, like, he, like, fucked me up. Yeah, we can help you. We're, we're pretty good with cops. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I I just filed a report, but but thank you. No, they know us pretty well from all this math and everything. Oh, no. Shh, shh, shh. All right, go before he wants some of our math. Go. My neck is bruised and I'm bleeding. We're going to turn the car off. We're going to take off our seatbelt. Can I like slump forward? I'm bleeding, I know. Yeah. I want to see if anybody shows up. Am I just going to make this police report and nothing's going to happen? That's like repairs. I got to pay for my vehicle. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> No, no messages, no nothing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here and bleed out and get ignored. <clears throat> They're just gonna ignore me. Time to get a lawyer for your sugar daddy, right? <laughs> I think they're just going to leave me on red, is what's happening here. Neck bruised, bleeding. Oh no, they're here.
Hey man, you alright? Hello, officer. No, my neck hurts. Uh, there's, I'm bleeding. Alright. Uh, one, uh, one of your guys came ripping through here at top speed and hit my cab and like flung me across the, across the overpass there. And then I had to God. like drive over here so I was not blocking traffic and... I want someone to do something about this. Well, let's let's get your neck secured real quick. All right, I'll grab my med bag. Thank you, officer. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I forgot about the gun. Alright man, I got the seat collar on you, uh, so your neck should be okay. Do you, are you comfortable with getting out of the car so I can treat you for the? Uh, yeah, just one sec. Oh. Alright man, here, I'm gonna take you on the side here out of the road. Thank you, officer. You know he's searching me right now. Doesn't look like you have any uh, exposures or nothing like that. No, uh, no cuts into your neck from the accident. Well, that's good to hear. You probably have a concussion though. Well, I am seeing two of you. That's well, that's not good. All right. Well, um, are you okay if I impound your your uh, work vehicle? Uh, I, I think I might be able to get back on my own if that's okay with you. Oh, uh, yeah, I can I can give you a quick patch up and then uh, if you want to drive back, that's all right. Yeah, I, sh I should really drop off the cab and my cousin Vinny's going to kick my ass. This should make you feel better. This is some medicine. Um, but yeah, if you want to drive the cab back so you can drop it off, obviously it's beat up, so... Yeah, I, I think it's still yeah. drivable. It seems like it might be okay, but uh, right. th thank you for responding, officer. Yeah, no problem, man. You stay safe, okay? Yeah, you too. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. We almost lost that gun. <laughs> we almost lost that gun. <laughs> Holy shit. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Uh, I have an illegal gun on me, so we'll skip it. <laughs> he let me go. I let him go. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good idea, too. I can't believe this car is still drivable. And I can't believe he didn't search my car. Like... <laughs> I'll be making a clip of the hit and run. I think I might get a lawyer and try and sue them. What do you think? Should we sue the cops? What do you think, Chad? I will talk to Edward. Just hide the gun. Yeah, I should put the gun in my car. I think I'm going the opposite direction of all that. Obviously some shit going down over there that I don't want to be near or a part of. I missed my turn off.
Whoop. My bad. <laughs> Retired from cab driving after lawsuit pays out. Just hang out with Mr. Edwards at the casino all fucking day gambling. <laughs> this is my first time playing RP on stream and it's been the most rewarding experience streaming that I've had ever. Question is, is my car still here? My car is not here. Again. Okay, now we're off duty. I think I got a med kit. Should be able to heal up the rest. No, no, I don't have a med kit. That was the problem. Well, I think what I'll do is we're going to end it here because we're at that three hour mark anyway. We're going to raid out to somebody else with 15 of you. Please stick around. I would love to give somebody a big, fat, juicy raid and show them some love. Um, but yeah, we're going to call it here for today. That was awesome. And we will absolutely be doing more of this because that was so rewarding. Or should I call Edward first? I'm going to call Edward first. We're going we're gonna to give Edward a call and see what he thinks. Hello, Alex. Hey, Edward. How you doing? Good. How are you? Well, I just got uh, I just got a hit and run by a cop, so that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah, no. He like bruised my neck. I was bleeding for a bit, so I called somebody and I got some medical help. But uh, I'm wondering, like, I got proof and everything. Should I be? Do, do, do you think I should sue? Uh. Yeah, you could try. I know there's not too many lawyers around the city. The one that I know of um, works closely with the police, so there's a chance that he might not take you. But, the, you know, you could try to reach out to a lawyer, especially if you have proof and everything. Yeah, I definitely do have proof, and I definitely should, I think, do something anyway. Like, I don't know any other way around, like, you know, getting compensation for my injuries than to sue. Like, is there anything else that I could do, do you think? Or or any way that uh, I can work um, that out with somebody there? Could, or not really? You could try to, uh, like, uh, call 911, but make sure they know it's not an emergency. And ask if you could speak to a police officer down there at the uh, police station close to Legion Square. Yeah, I could try that too. Okay. I just wanted to get your uh, your input on that because I thought, uh, you know, you've been around for a while. You know some people and, and uh, maybe you'd have some advice for me. So I, I appreciate that very much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would say uh, try the police station idea first. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Alrighty, well, I'm uh, I'm about to turn in for the night, but, uh, you know, shoot me a text. Keep me updated. Absolutely, I will do that. Thank you for taking my call. Have a good night. Oh, yeah, you as well. Bye-bye. This is so cool. Uh, <laughs> having so much fun. Uh, he is the best. I, it's He's my new best friend, is what he is. I'm going to give you $12,000 and a gun today. And, uh, you know, we'll talk about how you're going to pay me back for that. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Um, no, this was so much fun. Honestly, I... Uh, MRPD, perfect. Um, I'm going to have to go back and clip the accident. I'm going to have to uh, write out a report. So I'm going to have to do some stuff. Can I? Can I help you? you? Do you need some assistance, sir? Do you have, do you have laryngitis? I, I can't seem to make out what you're saying. I need a ride. Oh, you need a ride. Well, I'm sorry. I just uh, turned in for the night, but... Uh, I think I, need uh, a ride. I I can't give you a ride, sir. I'm sorry. I'm I'm all done for the night. I'm clocked out. You'll have to find somebody else. Hey, 
Fucking weirdo. I need a ride, I need a ride. Leave me alone. What the fuck? You following me? He's not fo Is he following me? I don't think he's following me. I'm just, I'm just gonna... I'm, I, I, I should, I'm gonna hide over here. See him? Okay. <laughs> a little bit extra at the end there. <laughs> I thought he was gonna mug me too. I was like, I have so much money on me right now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go raid Tortle. Um, I think I think I think she just started playing some Elden Ring. Uh, well, she's two and a half hours in, but I think she I think she's just getting into it. So let's go say hi to Tortle. All of you, thank you so much for being here. Uh, that was fun as fuck. We got so much content to go through. That was like three hours of content. Fuck. Um, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Um, we're gonna go say hi to Tortle. Make sure you drop the emotes and show lots of love and make sure that you follow Tortle because she's actually super fun to hang out with. I've been in her stream a bunch of times. Um, she plays Genshin. She plays a bunch of gacha games. She's uh, just really, really a genuinely nice person. So you have a good night too. Holy shit, that was great. Um, thank you, everybody. Honestly, thank you so much. Have a good night. We're gonna raid up the Tortle. Make sure it's working. Perfect, I'm stuck in my accent. I got stuck in the voice acting. Um, it's just too much fun. Back to clean for you. Okay, well, say hi to Tortle first. Just say hi for a minute. Just stick around for a minute and she'll love it. Stick around for a minute, okay? Make sure you say hi. Make sure you say hi, you know, clank raid, use the face or whatever you fucking, you know, stuck in the voice. I get stuck in the voice. What do you want from me? I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We're doing something tomorrow. Probably some hunt maybe with Lance, I think. And Bri, if you wanna join us. I think we're doing hunt maybe. Okay, I love you, bye.